Hi and welcome, Kat from Sacred Soul Rising. So um, one question and um, one thing I get asked an awful lot about is ego, death and dark night of the soul. Kat, why is it pain so painful? Do Does everybody who's on this journey go through an awakening and a dark night of the soul, an ego death? And the simple answer is yes. Why do you go through that? Why does everybody go through it? Is it even necessary? Well, Yes, because you are shifting from a very carbon-based body um, into a multidimensional being. You are able now to transmute light frequency at a lot higher rate. Your heart chakra activation that you go through and that kundalini is because you are now aligning with soul frequency. And while ever you're doing toxic old ways and holding on to those old core wounds, you will almost keep yourself trapped in the old dense frequency. And this journey is not about keeping yourself trapped. This journey is about shifting into that higher state of consciousness. In Awaken to Consciousness tomorrow, which is my weekly support group, um, we are delving into it deeply. I, I actually am on there every single week for two hours and we delve into, de into this really deeply. So you understand what you're going through, but you also understand how to bring that inner union really, you know, in a dynamic way and in a way that does not feel that you've been abandoned or betrayed. And we delve into why is that rising within you? And as I say, this can be coming up from lifetimes. This journey is a journey of your own sovereignty, of you stepping into your power, of you grabbing hold of your div divine sovereign energy and going, no, I'm taking back and, and really understanding that you are now shifting from a mind and ego based driven life into a soul way of living. That's not easy to do and it's certainly not easy for the mind and ego. And to then release all those lower dense frequencies can feel incredibly hard. And that is when often we start to portray it onto another and feel that we've been abandoned by them or we've been betrayed by them. But really what you need to be doing is shifting it and looking and going, okay, where have I betrayed myself? Where have I abandoned myself? Where can I start to show fully up for myself and take back my own power on this journey? This journey is not about a destination. This journey is about enjoying the journey as you're moving through it. But while ever you're seeing it, that this journey is happening to you and not for you, then you will stay in that crazy, loopy, painful energy. This, this is not what the journey is about. So if you're struggling right now and you need help and support on how to detox from that crazy energy, how to really start to shift on this journey so you see the truth of it, not with these eyes, but you see the truth with the third eye. We know on this journey, you know, Shakti energy that is moving and igniting all your chakras where does she go to? She goes to her divine counterpart in the third eye, Shiva. And Shiva is the space holder for her. Shiva allows her to come into that divine energy. And she is your divine energy. But while ever you are so focused outside of yourself, you will keep yourself trapped. So the best thing that you can do right now is take back your power and know that that Shakti energy is rising within you. So she can dance to that inner union and that inner union is you balancing your divine masculine and your divine feminine that you hold within you. You see, the secret to this journey is you divine feminine. You hold all the cards. You hold all the power. But while ever you're giving it away to the other and focusing outside of yourself, it's not the truth of the journey. If you need more help and support, click down in the description. You'll find a link to my website. Awaken to Consciousness is there. Also, my Twin Flame course is there to help and support you through this journey. So you get out of that toxic energy. Nobody wants to enter 2024 in that energy. You need to be in that empowered inner union energy where you are moving forward 
in that dynamic way and you have all the energy shifted onto you. Because when you shift the energy onto you, guess what? Everything shifts onto you. I send you so much love, many blessings.